Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. So glad you could attend. Come inside as we take a look at Found. Now, Found is an independent horror film hitting the festival circuit now. It recently won Elvira's Horror Hunt 2012, and they were presented with the award down at the Horror Hound Weekend in Indiana. Did not have the opportunity, unfortunately, to go to that event, but I did have the opportunity to see this film, which tells a coming-of-age story about preteen Marty, played by Gavin Brown. Now, Marty has learned that his brother is a serial killer. And if that isn't enough to weigh this kid down, he's also dealing with the fact that he's getting bullied at school, quite uh, heavily at school bullied, because he's kind of heavy into the horror. He's a little bit of an outcast character. So he's got to deal with that as well. Never mind also that he's got a mom and dad who, well, we learn more about them later. And basically, he's dealing with all the preteen issues that you have during the emotional growth of a child, as well as this fact that his brother is doing mean, nasty things to people. Folks, this is a dark, unhesitant uh, look at bullying at its core, plus it's got great other horror elements that add to it being uh, some slasher elements as well. This uh, found is smart horror film making. It is what we are seeing out of the horror independent cinema, and it is why I'm saying we are in the middle of a cinema renaissance, or beginning of one, I should say. Because this is something that you would never see come out of Hollywood. They couldn't make something like this. They'd be too afraid to. But let me tell you, writer-director Scott Shermer pulls no punches, does not hesitate to bring you events that you went, Holy crap, they went there? Yes, they go there. To make a point, though, none of it is sticky or just done for the sake of doing it. Everything has a purpose and a reason and a motivation. We have growth in our characters. Gavin Brown, who plays Marty, did this brilliant thing with his character. He just embodies this dark child that's just got this really bad things happening to him and him trying to deal with it. You see that inner conflict and things going on with him. He does that very well. Ethan Philbick, who plays Steve, the serial killing brother, does great crazy. I loved his crazy and I loved the aspect of duality of two of his love for his brother. You really buy into it and feel that authentic performance. You get also great performances by Phyllis Monroe as the mom and Louis Lawless as the dad. They play their roles equally as well. And just overall, every Everybody around Marty and Marty himself just do excellent performance and bring another level of just quality to a film that uh, definitely deserves more exposure, okay? Uh, I loved this film in all respects. The score was brilliant. It fit the movie very well. There is un there is gore in here as well, so you gore whores out there, you'll want to see this because it's a smart film that's topical dealing with the subject of bullying, plus it has all the horror elements you love. Definitely have to catch found if it's going to be at a festival near you. If not, hopefully it gets wide distribution soon because it definitely deserves it. Look for it online. I'll put links down below to the Facebook page, IMDb page, and whatever else I can find for you because you should see this film if you get a chance to at a local festival near you. Five stubs, as you imagine, a definitely worth your time film, and I hope uh, to see more from Scott Shermer because if this is any taste of what he's, uh, you know, where he's going with it, I can't wait to see what happens next. Also, uh, if you're Got a film out there, independent filmmakers, that you want to submit to a festival? Check out madisonhorror.net. They are still taking submissions, and it's our uh, horror festival down in Madison in the uh, beginning of November. Definitely submit your film. I'll put a link down below. Uh, go there. There's a submission link, and definitely check it out. We'd love to see you try to submit your film to this festival, just so that because I'm going to the festival so we can see it, uh, because I really think independent horror movie is where it's at. Independent cinema in general is where we're going to find our true original content, and found is one of those prime examples of that. Proof you don't need a great budget to bring you a great film. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Until next time, keep that chance out.